school. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, National Educational Support Professionals Day. I'm Helen Friend, and I can't see. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wellness Wednesday, the Great American Smokeout, will take place on November 19th. The American Cancer Society Great American Smokeout event is your chance to triumph over addiction. Every November, we set aside the third Thursday to encourage smokers to go the distance and finally give up smoking. About 42 million Americans still smoke, and tobacco still remains the single largest preventable cause of disease and premature death in the United States. So if you can quit for one day, you've taken an important step forward to a healthier life. It's a race for your health, and it starts today. Make a plan to join the Great American Smokeout and quit to win. The health benefits begin the moment you stop smoking. Quitting at any age can give you back years. Word of the day, credulous. Now, a tendency to be too ready to believe that something is real or true. A credulous rumor. Now in today's news. Attention all ninth grade students. Mrs. Humble and Miss Ahern will be your class advisors. The first order of business is to elect officers. If you are interested in running for a position, please submit a short essay stating the position you want, why you want it, and why you would be a good candidate for that position. All entries should be turned into Mrs. Ahern in the Counseling Center by Friday, November 20th. Offices are President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Historian responsible for taking pictures, news articles, and etc. Attention juniors and seniors, a representative from Garrett College will be here tomorrow during enrichment. Any interested student should sign up in the Counseling Center by 3 p.m. today. Attention all 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students. Any student interested in taking the ASVAB exam needs to sign up in the Counseling Office or with Sergeant Major Hoffman by Friday, November 20th. Attention seniors, any senior that did not order a panoramic photo and wants one, there are a few left. They can be purchased for $17 and will be on the first come, first serve basis. Please see Mrs. Ahern in the Counseling Center. Graduation supplies information. Jawsons will be here to pick up hard copy orders tomorrow. Seniors must have at least a $50 down payment. If you do not have the down payment, you need to speak with the Jawsons rep. War of the Classes. War of the Classes t-shirts have been ordered. If you ordered a t-shirt but have not paid for it yet, please take your $10 to Mrs. Berger in room 219. There are 10 extra senior t-shirts. If you are a senior and you have missed a chance to order a shirt, please see Mrs. Berger. This is your last War of the Classes. Make it count. All students are reminded to bring in unexpired canned goods to their homeroom by Friday. 2016 Yearbook Information. The North Star Yearbook is launching its first sales campaign, and the deals are awesome. Never will the price be lower, and Jawsons is offering this, four free icons with the purchase of personalized yearbook. Woo. This offer is only good until December 4th, 2015. Woo. You may order directly online at jawsonsyearbooks.com or call 877-767-5217. Scholastic Book Fair Announcement. From Monday, December 7th until Friday, December 11th, the Vault is hosting our very first book fair ever. Please let your family and friends know that it will be open daily during regular school hours. It will also be open for extended hours on Tuesday, December 8th and Thursday, December 10th, beginning at 3.30 to 5 p.m. Service Learning Opportunity, Festival of Trees. Students are needed to help on November 24th, 25th, 27th, and 28th starting at 9 a.m. They would like for students to donate at least four hours to assist with setup, assisting vendors to unload and set up parking, wardrobe manager, concessions, kids' activities, and much, much more. If interested, please contact Sherry at 301-746-8117 or email her at surebrat at verizon.net or contact the Festivals of Trees at www.fotgc.org. Joe Corby's Fundraiser. The mock trial team and the Thespian Society are selling Joe Corby's. Order your pizza, pre-portioned cookie dough, and awesome desserts by November 30th. See Mrs. Garlitz, Mrs. Fritz, or any member of the Mock Trial or Thespian Society to order. 
Mrs. Roller in the Voice of the Vault would like to introduce the writing prompt of the week. You walk out of the grocery store one day and discover that the streets are full of cows on bicycles. What's even weirder is that you're the only one who finds this odd. What is going on? If you need details about this writing prompt, see Mrs. Roller in the Vault and keep those submissions coming for the new literary magazine. The Whisper Resort winner job fair will be Saturday, November 21st from 9 a.m. to 12 noon in the main lot. Following positions are available. Ski and ride instructors, cashiers, lift department, housekeeping, food and beverage, snow making, retail reservations, facilities, hotel front desk, mountain park attendance, and much more. If any of those sound like something you would like to do, head out to the Wisp on Saturday morning. What is National Education Support Professionals Day? It is a day that honors all secretaries, classroom aides, cafeteria workers, maintenance workers, bus drivers, and the others that help and do their part in making public schools great for every child so that they can be safe, learn, grow, and achieve. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So Aaron, how does it feel to play your last football game your senior year? Um, it was it was pretty sad. Uh, yeah, we had a good season, but um, you know, it's kind of sad playing your last game. But it was a good season. And there you have it. In Husky events, we have nothing to report. Now, in sports news, to all our winter athletes, don't practice until you get it right. Practice until you can't get it wrong. <laughs> Today's weather will be cloudy and windy with a high of 58 and winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour. Oh no. For lunch, we'll be having chicken fajita, tossed salad, pears, refried beans, and... Milk. Today in history. On this day in 1883, at exactly noon, the American and Canadian railroads began using four continental time zones to end the confusion of dealing with thousands of local times. The bold move was emblematic of the power shared by the railroad companies. And a happy belated birthday to Emily Brooks. Woo! Quote of the day. It's easier to put on slippers than to carpet the whole world. Al Franken. I don't get it. Have a windy Wednesday. Where did that wind come from?